This is code.org, and we're about to make an awesome, well, image looping app. To do that, we really want to make use of this activity guide, good use. So let's start walking through it and kind of brainstorm how you can complete it to make sure you have a solid plan going forward. Try using different combinations of inputs. What does each button change and what does it not change? Okay, well, I'm going to hit run. Oh, whoa, okay. So input, so that's this stuff, right? So I'm going to hit colors. Oh, huh. Okay, well, what does it change? I think it's background and the face is colors. What's location change? Okay, it looks like all of the uh, face images. Woo, cool. So what is it not changing? Well, they're not changing the buttons themselves, I guess. Huh, that's pretty neat, okay. Discuss with a partner, where do you think the app is using a list? Well, I don't have a partner, so hi, partner. Hey, look at this, though. 20 images with IDs icon 0, icon 1, icon 19. Huh. So if you have 20 images and they're listing them off right here, I wonder where they might use a list. It's kind of interesting, right? Because comma, comma, what do you do when you're writing lists? You put commas. So maybe the icons are in something like a list. What else do we got here? Where do you think this app is using a loop. Well, what could be looped through? Think about the changes being made. If you want to change the color of, I don't know, maybe 20 images, well, would you want to do that individually, right? You want to write 20 separate lines that says change this color, change this color, change that color. Hmm, that seems like a lot of work when you could just put a, uh, when you could just write a few lines and ask the computer to repeat them. So maybe when they're making those adjustments to the different images, right, when they're changing the size or the location, maybe that's when a loop is being used because it's so much easier to ask the computer to repeat it on its own for how many images? 20, rather than doing it or writing it 20 times. All right, fill in the information in the table below for each event handler you need to create this. Now, element ID. Remember what event handlers are. Event handlers handle interactions with the application. So when I hit reset run, what can I actually do? I can click on the screen, but nothing's happening there. It's only when an event occurs does an event handler run. Well, watch. Click. When I click color, something happens. An event occurs. So that's what they're talking about. They want to know when things happen, what interactions. Just clicking the screen, just moving around the screen. What specifically? I know it looks like the color button is an interaction. So element ID, I have to kind of guess here. Oh no, they told us. So I think the color button is going to be one of these. All right, and description of what the handler does. Well, I mean, this is somewhat up to you, but it looks like it changes the color of each of the 20 images. Now you want to think about other items, right? Other elements, and they give you all the elements that would that you can use to cause a change to create an event in the app. All right, let's take a look at this. Fill in the table below for each variable you need to create. So what variables might they be using to create this interaction? Hmm. Well, so when you're thinking about a variable, you want to think about how something is changing. And so you want to think about maybe how they're getting through the list or what do they need to save, right? Because a variable is just that. It's something to save information. Are they saving the colors? I mean, the colors look somewhat random to me. And if they're totally random, I don't think you would need to save them. So I'm not, I mean, I would have to look at this more closely, but something entirely random, you usually wouldn't need to save. If the location's entirely random, hmm, because if it's random, you're not reusing the same thing over and over again. What about like this shape? Well, I'm not reusing, they all don't go to one location, right? So that wouldn't make sense for a variable because they're appearing all over the place. Are all their colors the same? No, it doesn't look like that either. So I don't know, that seems more randomized. But the shape, we might be using something here over and over and over again. What is it? Well, the shape, right? So we asked the 20 pictures to have a icon of a tree. We don't ask 20 pictures to go to the same place because this is randomized. We don't ask 20 pictures to have the same color or icons because this is random, right? All of them are different. So we just random on the fly, random on the fly it looks like. 
but I'm pretty sure shapes would need to be a variable because you're going to ask it 20 times over to be that shape. So how are we going to store that information? So that would be prime candidate for a variable, uh, variable name. So I would say something like icon image maybe. Now, and this is just possible. Maybe you disagree. If you have a really good idea and you have a reason you think it's definitely not that, okay, I think it's highly likely though that that is. Now, another variable for this. I would think about how they're getting through the list, right? How are you going to keep track of where you are in a list without a variable, for instance? Or maybe you're thinking they're basing all of their colors off of a single starting color. That could be a good idea as well. Or also, if they, you think the location's a single starting location, a background color, there's a lot of things here that are possibilities. But again, I would also think about that placement in the list as you move through it. All right. So that should get you brainstorming what's going to go on this sheet. And I'm really excited to start on an awesome application.